Good evening, guys. I just thought I'd jump on and just do this last little video uh, for 2021. Um, uh, and again, I'll do, I do. I, I normally do an end of year video every year, uh, just to sort of share some of the the challenges and the successes that we've had throughout this year. Um, you know, we opened up uh, back after you know the sort of uh, the first lot of the COVID situation that we had. Um, you know, at the beginning of uh, 2021. Um, and we opened fully back up stroke April, stroke May of uh, this year, um, you know, and it's, it's been absolutely brilliant this year. It's been absolutely fantastic for, for, for growth for the club and everybody else's, um, uh, everybody else's journey as well. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, like I say, we opened up back up April stroke May, and I believe the students that we had then, I think, was just under a hundred students, uh, which was brilliant, by the way, because you know we we were doing a lot of stuff with, that was online, and a lot of people stuck with that. Um, I'm glad we haven't had to go back onto that, um, you know, again. So fingers crossed, it stays like that as well, because um, it was quite challenging. Uh, but we've, uh, like I say, we've grown massively and we're now up to a maximum of t about 216 students, I think it is. So, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and that growth, by the way, has come from not just us. Uh, it's come from you guys as well. Um, you know, we've had, uh, recommendations from people. We've had, you know, brilliant testimonies or testimonials, uh, coming from people as well. Um, which has been absolutely brilliant because when that happens, you know, it, it just means that, you know, we get recommended and recommended uh, by other people. You know, we've managed to, um, you know, not only have we um, grown our student base, um, we've also grown within schools as well. Um, so, you know, again, you know, next year, uh, 2022, uh, we're going to be starting off in um, uh, in Jefferyfield Juniors again. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, and we've also branched out now to St. Dominic Savio over in um, uh, Woodley as well. So that's going to be another little uh, uh, another little uh, stepping stone for us, which is going to be quite cool. Um, and all this, by the way, comes from, you know, being a team. Um, you know, the team has been absolutely uh, mental this year. And uh, when I say team, I mean everybody. You know, the team means everybody. Uh, it's not just team as in like ourselves, you know, and Tina or Tony or some of the other senior guys as well that have been helping out um, in different classes and stuff. It means everybody. And when I mean everybody, it might just be, you know, you know, one of those, you know, if you were in a class or something, for instance, and you know that there's a new new person that's come in, you know, you just going over to them and introducing themselves is like, oh, hiya, my name's Paul, uh, you know, da, 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 you know, and, you know, you know, you might partner up with that person for, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. You've made that person feel at, ho at home or you've made that person feel at ease. Uh, so that's what I mean by being part of the team. You know, it might have been, you know, you might have, you know, met them in the car park, for instance, or, you know, you may have, you know, partnered up with someone that's holding a set of focus pads that you've never partnered up with before because they're new. Um, that is being part of a team. And that's what I love about it. Um, there's no airs and graces with anybody. Uh, there's no, you know, the big I am or anything like that. Um, the grade is is not relevant at all to, with with any of the students there, um, and that to me is is absolutely brilliant. You know, um, I just I, I love being part of this. I love being, um, you know, I love helping people, and that's probably one of the biggest things that I've learned about myself uh, this last year or so um, is that I know that I can help people. I know that I can help people come across. Uh, you know, challenges. So it might be confidence. It might be a little bit of focus, maybe for some of the children. It might be a little bit of discipline for the children as well. Um, you know, I've seen children grow massively this year. Um, those that, you know, maybe have been a little bit challenged, maybe with their behaviour, for instance. You know, we've managed to get on top of that now. Um, and not only that, it's sort of helped me also become a better teacher. Um, it's also helped some of the other guys to 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 be able to deal with uh, maybe some of those maybe slightly challenged with their behaviour. It's helped them slightly as well when we're doing um, you know teaching and stuff like that. So um, 
it's an ongoing journey for me. It's not just me being a black belt, you know, in karate. It's me being a black belt in uh, in teaching. It's me being a black belt in business. It's me being a black belt in, you know, helping people, uh, you know, looking at my strengths and looking at my weaknesses. Um, and I do that every week. You know, I might, you know, maybe do a, a certain lesson, for instance. I might do a lesson plan. I think, actually, that didn't work quite well. Um uh, let me change that. So I might maybe do something on a Wednesday and I think, right, that didn't work quite well, but I'll do it on a Friday and then I'll I'll flip it in a, in a certain way and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, that's how I needed to, you know, address that. That's how I needed to put that forward. Um, so it's been, it's been, it's been great for growth and it's not just growth as in getting more people through the door. It's been growth as in like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm growing myself. It's likewise for the, you know, for the kids as well. You know, they've, you know, they've, they've done fantastic, you know, and again, they've got their own lives to lead, um, you know, but they're, they're living my dream. All of them are living my dream, you know, and I can't, you know, I can't thank them enough for that. Um, I have, I had this vision of, um, back in 2017 that the club, you know, the club was going in a direction um, that I was like, OK, all right, I can see this now. Yeah. And I had this vision of, right, we're going to, you know, we're going to be, uh, you know, go on, go off in a totally different direction to what my my personal journey was before when I was doing karate, but when I first started in 2003. Um you know now um i'm i i know what direction i'm going in i know my you know but my plan of action uh for next year um so and again that's going to come with challenges i know it will uh but again you know if you don't if you don't fail at things or if you don't uh don't achieve things first time around you just you just try and try and find another direction to try and make make sure that you you know you've got a solution to get to where you want to go um so that for me is, is, is a, has been a big thing. And I think a lot of people could resonate, resonate with that as well. A lot of people can go, actually, no, you're right. You know, so, um, you know, I know there's been a couple of things as well as a few guys that have, uh, you know, they've got injured throughout the year as well, which is, you know, which has been an absolute shame. I'm absolutely gutted about that. Um, you know, these guys are, are, are totally valued members. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, and likewise, I, you know, everybody's, everybody's, whoop, Likewise, everybody's come across uh, certain things in their in their in, in their training that they've you know they're thinking right okay I'm gonna have to ease up a little bit because of whatever. Um, but I think you know it's like for me personally um, teaching the younger ones, the four year olds. You know I used to find that absolutely challenging. Oh my word, especially in my uh, in my um, should we say older club where I was before. Um, Used to find it really challenging trying to teach, um, you know, younger students. But now, uh, now for me, it's just like that's that's my, that's what I love. That's what I love. Well, don't get me wrong, I I, I absolutely love teaching the adults as well. Uh, that for me, you know, I got a massive buzz out of that because you can just see the direction that they're going in. You can see how much progress they've made. You can see what their passion is about. You can see that they want to learn the next thing, you know, and again, you know, they've been very, very patient with, uh, not just myself, but with, um, obviously with some of the, you know, with, with, um, uh, Jess and Kieran as well. Um, because Jess and Kieran don't always, uh, don't always get all the information that I've got going on up here. I end up keeping a lot of it up here for myself and I shouldn't do, so sometimes it will come round, you know, we're doing a class, and Kieran will go, right, well, are we doing that now? Because I'll make little, slight little tweaks here and there, and I know, and I know it's one of those things you could go, well, you need to have it set. No, we're an evolving club, you know, you've got to keep, you've got to keep on going, keep on pushing them boundaries, and keep, keep moving forward, and I think that's going to be the biggest, biggest thing for next year as well, we've got loads of things coming up next year, which I'm going to be um, working on, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so, so for that really, okay, that sort of sums up, um, you know, sort of 2021, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I can't thank everybody enough for, for stepping through the dojo doors this year, uh, whether it's been an old member, whether it's been a new member, you know, whether it's been a, you know, a member that left, but then come back, um, you guys have done absolutely brilliant this year, um, everything that I've asked of you, you've done, um, 
there's going to be some things next year that I'm going to ask of you and you're going to go, oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> um, you know, and that's part of you growing as a team. It's part of you growing as a, an individual as well. Um, you know, and, you know, like I say, with, you know, with this year, especially um, with everything still sort of going around the whole COVID situation, you know, whoever you're spending your time with, whoever you're spending your Christmas with, whoever you're spending your, your new year with, um, you know, do it with love, you know, because uh, I think it's one thing we've all learned over the last, uh, well, almost two and a bit years now, um, is that tomorrow's never promised. And, um, you know, I, I know I know that personally. I lost my dad in 2019 um, to a very short illness that we didn't know nothing about. Um, as in, we didn't know that he had this illness. It wasn't until he had a fall that uh it uh it sort of flagged up and then all of a sudden you know within a you know within three months we'd lost him um so tomorrow's never guaranteed uh so whatever you're doing whoever you're spending it with um check in on those that might not be able to be with anybody um you know and if you are around people love them loads give them loads of hugs and loads of kisses um you know and uh let's make next year um another fantastic year uh with our support your support for for everything that everybody's doing um and yeah okay all right so thank you very much guys merry christmas happy new year from us to you um you guys are brilliant thanks very much see you later bye bye